Well, the General Assembly is anxiously awaiting the list of the vetoes the governor has made, and that list is expected to be out in the next 15 minutes. It has been a frantic beginning of the end of the Maryland General Assembly session, and there are also at least two surprises. Well, good morning, everyone. And what many lawmakers consider a surprise move. Governor Hogan Friday decided not to veto legislation that bans the sale, receipt, and transfer of ghost guns. The weapons are assembled from parts sold in kits on the Internet. No background checks are required, and they don't have serial numbers. The governor will let the bill go into law without his signature. The governor tweeted, It's a positive step as we seek to stem the tide of violent crime, but it does nothing to penalize those who actually pull the trigger on firearms. I would expect that he um, you know, could read the tea leaves and see that this is something that is widely supported um, in jurisdictions big and small. As both chambers waited for the governor to act on bills already on his desk, they frantically worked to send more legislation his way. The Senate debated, then passed, two cybersecurity bills. The package centralizes IT operations, provides oversight, and coordinates an emergency response. So we're creating all this huge work for the department and we're saying if we add a couple people, we'll be able to handle this. That's not how computer science works. It actually creates more problems. We have to do something now. This bill will support your local schools, your local health departments, your local county governments, and give them the resources they need to fend off the attacks. Two of the governor's crime-fighting bills may not be stuck in a House committee after all. The legislation reveals the sentences judges hand down for violent crime. The other increases penalties for offenders who illegally possess guns or supply firearms to criminals. We're continuing to look at them and I think we'll take some action here over the next couple days. What happens with the governor's crime bills and the veto overrides will likely dominate much of the General Assembly's last day of the session, which will end midnight Monday. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.